What's up everyone? Today we have this. It's the Google um, camera, Nest Cam sort of thing. Uh, this one's broken. It just won't turn on, so we're going to be taking this one apart. Uh, I made another video a while ago about taking apart a Nest Cam. Uh, it was actually the Drop Cam Pro, so the predecessor before this one, or maybe even before that. I'm not sure. I've kind of followed along that company that started, I think, as Dropcam, which was then bought out by Nest, which was then bought by Google. I think that's the history of it. And now they're making this, like, kind of, like, more modern version of this. It has a built-in stand, lots of rounded parts of, you know. Just search it up. It's called the Google Nest Cam second generation, I think. Either way. This one's just called the Google Nest Cam First Gen, I think. I'll have to search it up. Check the title of this video. That's probably what it's called. Last video, my hat was blocking it, so I'm putting the camera in front of me. Not really in front of me as much as like above the workstation. And we'll just take it apart like that. Trying to keep everything in full view. You might want to apply a little bit of pressure so you don't uh, strip the screws because they feel a bit uh, slip, you know, slippery in a way. You hear it slipping? The screws aren't very like you know deep. That's what one of them looks like. All filled head. The interior it looks to be an antenna up there. Just disconnect. So we'll set aside that assembly for now. In here you have a rubber surround, possibly just for a bit of waterproofing. Even though this is not a waterproof product. You have the antenna up there, and then you have these two metal things on the side. Possibly to keep it in place. See if we can remove this. I think so. Yep. Here's what one of them looks like. Oh, I know what these are now. The clips that hold it onto the stand. This video will probably be linked as an update video to the last one. Okay, so that's the front section of it taken apart. Okay, moving on to the rear section. I'll wiggle it and that should pop off the, the back plate, which is also acts as the heat sink. And the microphone is in here. It is kind of right there. Let's see if we can poke it out. Almost. And it looks like we got it. Microphone out. Although you'll destroy it if you do that, so if you plan on repairing this care keeping it don't do that to the microphone those are some thermal pads that i just removed to uh, better move heat onto this metal piece that is the back plate okay moving on to the oh what just fell off I think the speaker just fell off. You know how you can talk to, uh, if you ever owned one of these, you know you can talk to the people uh, through the camera. Like, let's say you see someone suspicious walking around your property. You go tell them, I can see you through a camera. You better leave the property right now. You know? 
you know, that kind of thing. I can see you there. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So these screws I'm removing, I think, detach the camera assembly itself from the motherboard. Which is the, the board behind it. And, yep, that's what it does. And I think the this cable goes to the uh, infrared LED, the night vision LEDs. Here is the motherboard, it's circular. Here is the chips. There it is. And the other side. Now let's get to work on this. More thermal pads because I guess it gets hot. That's not, that's tape. We have like six screws there. Maybe remove these outer ones first. I'm gonna remove the, the you know, thing away from the cameras because I'm dropping the screw in my uh, parts tray. Why I'm making this video and not just taking it apart in my spare time? Because I read the comments. I actually read the comments on my videos. So if you leave them there, I'm probably reading it. Alright, disconnect that ribbon cable. Don't do it this way. It's not the right way to do it. Okay, so there's that piece of tape there. Just try peeling it. That didn't work. Let's slice it. So there's the night vision assembly right here. So no, that uh, wire does not go to the night vision thing. The ribbon cable did. Here are the infrared LEDs that enable night vision. Get to that later. There's a very small ribbon cable. Here's the camera assembly itself, which we can remove. So I'm not really sure what that cable does. These two screws separate this lens from the PCB. Here's this um, rubber piece. I wonder what you can see through here. And put it against the camera. Not much. Not really much. Oh, this can be unscrewed. Be twisted, but it would also mess up the focus, I would think. Yep. And maybe it could again, I'm not going to do it. Try to pick this open later. Let's get to this.
Oh, right. So it looks like because those LEDs are soldered onto the PCB, uh, this plastic piece won't come off. So. Okay, back to this. This metal piece comes off the back of it. Which has another thermal pad here. Looks like that's some kind of lens cover, or at least some that goes over the lens, and it's taped on. Interesting. It slightly moves, it looks to be. I'm still not 100% sure what this is. It looks like it could be opened even further. Okay. That, that's not going to be put back together. So, yeah, that's how I thought. Little mechanical arm in there that moves this. It's interesting. What's attaching that? One last piece here. Okay, more adhesive, as I thought. This specifically has nothing on it. And then here's the camera sensor itself. So that's it. Uh, complete teardown of the uh, Google Nest Cam. I think first generation. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Do a quick zoom in of the parts. I just realized I'm filming in vertical mode. That's on me, though. I'll change that in the editor. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.